Hey people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of One Click Tuesdays. Now in this episode you're hearing my voice because this episode is going to be a bit different. Instead of creating some effects and showing you how you can reapply those effects to other images or text with a single click, today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your workflow with one click or one keyboard key or two keyboard keys. But I'm going to show you how you can, you know, speed up your edit process. So one thing that always bugs me is that Photoshop has tons of keyboard shortcuts, keyboard keys, hotkeys. But uh, I always wondered why how did Photoshop never have, you know, a hotkey for one of the options, for one of the actions that I use the most, that I use in every edit all the time, that I need it. Without that option, we wouldn't be able to edit what we want. And that option is converting an image into smart object. Now, I didn't have problem with that all this time. But recently, I've, you know, I've found that the convert to smart option, the process of converting your layers into smart option has kind of, you know, slowed down my edit process, my progress. And that's because one day when I had a lot of layers stacked up on top of each other, what I had to do, I had to go to each and every layer, right click, come here, convert to smart object. Again, select, right click, convert to smart object. Select, right click, convert to smart object. Select, right click. Sometimes I would accidentally, you know, hit artboard from layers. Or sometimes I would accidentally hit something else. Or maybe create a clipping mask. So I found a way for that, how to speed up my work progress. And that is, check this out. I just click here and boom. Click here, boom. Click here, boom. Click here, boom. It all converts into smart object with a keyboard shortcut. Now, some of you Photoshop and advanced users would know this, but to all those who have started up with Photoshop, to all those who don't know this feature, I'm just going to undo this. So I'm going to show you all how you can speed up your work progress. And uh, so you go here, you go to edit and you come down to keyboard shortcuts. The shortcuts to opening your this window, keyboard shortcuts window is Alt, Shift, Control, Plus, K. So you click that and you come here. This opens up keyboard shortcuts, menus, shortcuts and menus open up. So from here you see every, you know, Photoshop action. You see file, you see edit, you see image, you see layer, you see image mode, grayscale, two-tone, CMYK color, RGB color filter, last filter, everything. So what I did was I came here to my panel menus and I scrolled down to my layers and I again scrolled down. So as you see here, there is convert to smart object. So what I did was I clicked on convert to smart object and I set a short key for that. And that is alt control right square bracket or command option right square bracket on a Mac but you don't have to copy this exact shortcut you go through this menu and you set up your shortcut the way you want however easier for you the easiest the key for you set that up and just press OK and now that when you come you don't have to just right click or convert to smart object you just, just press control alt right square bracket control alt right square bracket control or right square bracket and that's it. That's how you speed up your work progress whenever you have some really quick edit to do. Whenever, you know, a client is rushing you or waiting for you or, you know, reaching your deadline. This can come in, in very handy. So here's another example for when I said that you can, you know, assign shortcut keys or hotkeys to any of the action that you want. So like I have my text layer and all I want is to add shadows. I have multiple text layers and I want to add shadow to them. But what do I have to do for shadows is like I'm... I'm running out of time, I'm, you know, close to the deadline, so what I have to do, I have to just double click on this and, you know, wait for the layer style to show up, then come here, drop shadows and, you know, create a drop shadow. So you have to do, if there are multiple layers, like so, you have to, you know, double click on all of them and, you know, get the layer style and double click on the third one, you know, apply the layer shadows. So what I found a cool way for that, again, with the hotkeys, so what I did was, the hotkey that I set for this was Control, Shift, and Star. So what that does, basically, it opens the layer styles, it already applies the drop shadow for you, and you just press Enter, and you're done. 
that's how faster you can be. It's just maybe one or two seconds faster, but it's still a drastic speed change. All right, so that's it for today's video. This was a very little video, but still it was, I hope it was educational and it helped you a lot. If you like this video, then hit the like button. It will help my ranking and, and the views. And if you want to support me, if you enjoy all my videos and the content that I upload, then do support me by clicking the subscribe button below and also the bell button so that you can get notified anytime I upload a video. And so yeah, that's it. I'll see you all this Friday.